Final Score Friday with Sports Director Lane Casadante and Sean Robertson. Sponsored by Bojangles, Loyalty Automotive, and Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the season finale of Final Score Friday for 2023. Sean and I here with the cheerleaders from Manchester. And for the second straight week, our guests have just come from our game of the week. And we have made it to the second week of the playoffs of the regional semifinals, where our field of team shrinks as the competition level jumps up another few degrees. Manchester and Domasdale have met over 60 times, going back to just after World War II. But the last four, including tonight, have all been in the playoffs. And they have all come in the regional semifinal round, and they've all been Lancers' victories. Last year was a three-point victory on a field goal. The Lancers were trying to get back to the regional final where they lost a year ago. The Knights were trying to get back there for the first time since the spring 2020. 21 season. The final score Friday game of the week is sponsored by Bojangles. Second straight year, Dale hosted Manchester in the regional semifinals. First quarter, opening drive for the Lancers, Landon Abernathy to Brandon Phillips, 20 yard touchdown, Manchester up seven to nothing. We head to the second, Manchester's up 14 nothing. Abernathy will go up top and find the future Richmond Spider, Kyrie Richardson, 33 yard touchdown. Lancers up 20 to nothing. Ensuing kickoff, Thomas Dale Shamari Earls receives it from his own 16. He made a reservation call for six. He goes 84 yards down the sidelines. Dale is down 20 to seven. Later in the second, NJ Hines, his dad said, put my son on. There he is. If he scores. Which he did. Knights down 23-14 at the break. Third quarter, same score. Abernathy hooks up with Richardson for the second time in the game. Landon threw three touchdowns on the night. Manchester is on to the regional final for the seventh time in eight seasons after a 40-21 win over Thomas Dale. Pretty football does not win playoff games. We wanted to be physical. They were physical all week in practice. Um, it's just fortunate. We, we, the kids, I mean, they just came out and executed from the very first kickoff on. Uh, offensive line played amazing. Defensive line, defensive front seven was amazing. You heard him, Lane. Pretty football don't win playoff Amazing. games. Amazing. <laughs> Out to the east end for the other half of the 6A semifinal bracket. Number one, Highland Springs hosting Oscar Smith. Second all-time meeting between two teams that have a combined nine state mm -hmm. titles in the last decade. First quarter, Springers off early. Eric Bird Great went over 100 yards in this game. 31 of them right here. Springers have a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Oscar Smith. Lonnie Andrews, 19-yard pass. That's a freshman, too. To Travis Johnson as he gets creamed on the pass. Johnson comes down with the catch. That would set up a Brandon Nesbitt seven-yard touchdown run, and the game is tied at seven. Third quarter, Andrews picked off by Tamandri Braxton. Mm -mm. Had a pretty good season back in the secondary for the Springers. That would set up that man again, Bird, uh, one more time. 43 yards all the way down to the seven. He would score on the next play. Once again, the regional final goes through the East End as Highland Springs wins 28 to seven. They will host Manchester next week for the 6A regional title. Eight of the last nine years, Highland Springs has been in a regional final. Down in Ettrick, Matoka, hosting a second round game for the first time since 2006, taking on Mills Godwin. The Eagles coming off their first playoff win in some 27 years. Third all-time meeting between the two. The first one in 40 years. And Matorka jumped out fast. Montino Williams over the left side. Six-yard touchdown run. The Warriors up seven to nothing. Then it's the Warriors defense. Bryce Yates tips it to himself and then returns it to the Godwin 45-yard line. Then before the half, Raleigh Justice will find one of his go-to weapons, Dylan Newton Short. 15 yard, 15 nothing Warriors at the break. Third quarter, it's the other weapon. Justice 
to Yates. We saw him with the pick. Check that athletic play with the touchdown. 22-0 Godwin. Justice will then connect with Newton Short on a 30-yard score. The Warriors advance to the regional final for the first time since 2005. They'll host it 36-0 over Godwin. Back to the East End. Number four, Verona hosting Huguenot. The Falcons making the second round of the playoffs for the first time since 2005. These two teams had not met since 1990. Falcons had not beaten the Blue Devils since 1962. Huguenot, uh -oh. Huguenot Ver Verona's Linwood Johnson rather picked off by Michael Dabney. It was a defensive first half, but then Jason Wright gets sacked by Darius Wilson. Second quarter, somebody finally gets on the board. The freshman in a quarterback, Caleb Weiss, converts a third and 20, mm. taking it all the way down to the seven yard line. He would get injured on the play, so Johnson comes back in. He's going to find Samari Carter, nice. and the Devils have a 7 0 lead. Then Johnson and Carter would hook up again. From the one yard uh -oh. line behind the defense, and yes, he is that fast. 99 yards on the pitching catch. Huguenot made this one interesting. They got to within a point, but Verona holds them off 21 to 20. The Blue Devils will advance to the 4B regional final next week. Still to come, a few more scores, a few more highlights, and something special when Final Score Friday returns. Stay with us.